The salty breeze kissed my face as I stood on the deck of the weather-beaten yacht, Horizon Voyager. My heart pounded with excitement and trepidation as we set sail into the open sea. This was supposed to be an adventurous solo voyage, a journey of self-discovery and escape from the mundane. Little did I know that it would turn into a harrowing tale of survival. I had meticulously planned the route, navigating through the azure waters of the Pacific Ocean. The promise of unexplored islands and secluded coves fueled my wanderlust, propelling me into the heart of the vast and mysterious sea. The yacht, a sturdy vessel that had weathered many storms, seemed like the perfect companion for my odyssey. Days turned into nights, and nights into days. The rhythmic sound of the waves became a lullaby that soothed my troubled mind. The sea whispered stories of ancient mariners, tales of triumph and tragedy that echoed through the vast expanse. I reveled in the solitude, finding solace in the gentle rocking of the yacht. One evening, as the sun dipped below the horizon, painting the sky with hues of orange and pink, a strange unease crept over me. A whisper, almost imperceptible, fluttered through the air. It was as if the sea itself spoke to me, warning of impending danger. Ignoring the disquiet, I chalked it up to my overactive imagination. On the fifteenth day of my journey, the sea transformed into a tempestuous beast. Dark clouds gathered on the horizon, and the aunt's calm waters churned with fury. Panic gripped my heart as I battled the raging storm. The yacht tossed like a mere toy in the hands of an angry giant. The wind howled, and rain lashed against my face as I struggled to maintain control. Lightning illuminated the chaos, revealing towering waves that threatened to engulf the horizon voyager. With each passing moment, the line between survival and catastrophe blurred. The once familiar constellations disappeared behind ominous clouds, leaving me disoriented and helpless. During the tempest, a colossal wave rose like a mountain before crashing down with a deafening roar. The yacht groaned under the pressure, and I clung desperately to the helm. When the waves subsided, the horizon voyager had vanished into the abyss. When I regained consciousness, I found myself adrift on a piece of debris, surrounded by nothing but endless ocean. Panic and disbelief gripped me as I scanned the horizon for any sign of the yacht. It was as if the sea had swallowed it whole, leaving no trace of my once sturdy vessel. Days turned into weeks, and I floated aimlessly, sustained by the meager supplies salvaged from the wreckage. The sun beat down mercilessly during the day, and the nights were plagued by an eerie silence broken only by the occasional distant rumble of thunder. Loneliness became my constant companion as I clung to the slim hope of rescue. Just when despair threatened to consume me, a distant speck on the horizon caught my attention. Squinting through the harsh sunlight, I could hardly believe my eyes. A rescue ship approached, its silhouette emerging from the vast expanse like a savior in the desert. Weak and emaciated, I mustered the last ounce of strength to signal for help. The ship, guided by the determined efforts of the rescue crew, reached me just in time. As I was hoisted aboard, a mix of relief and disbelief washed over me. The nightmare of being lost at sea was over, but the scars of that fateful journey would linger forever. Safe on solid ground, I looked back at the sea that had both cradled me in tranquility and engulfed me in chaos. The Horizon Voyager, my faithful companion, lay at the bottom of the ocean, a silent testament to the unpredictable power of nature. As I reflect on those tumultuous days, the mystery of the vanishing horizon lingers. The sea, with its whispers and warnings, had foretold my perilous fate. In the embrace of the vast unknown, I found both despair and resilience. The vanished yacht may never resurface, but the story of its disappearance will forever echo in the depths of my soul, a haunting melody of survival against all odds. The year was 2010, and I, Captain Theodore Blackwell, set sail aboard the Siren's Call, a majestic schooner with a reputation for unmatched speed and unparalleled elegance. The voyage was meant to be a routine journey from England to the West Indies, 
carrying precious cargo and a crew of seasoned sailors. Little did we know that fate had darker plans for us. As we ventured further into the vast expanse of the Atlantic, ominous clouds gathered on the horizon, foretelling a tempest of unparalleled ferocity. Uneasy whispers among the crew suggested that the seas were cursed, haunted by vengeful spirits of sailors long lost at sea. I dismissed such superstitions, attributing them to the weariness of the men. The storm struck with a wrath unseen before. Waves rose like monstrous titans, crashing against our vessel with relentless force. The once proud siren's call was tossed about like a mere plaything of the tempest. Desperation clawed at the hearts of the crew, and the ship groaned under the strain. Amidst the chaos, the ship's compass shattered, and the guiding light of the North Star was obscured by the malevolent clouds. We found ourselves adrift in a nautical purgatory, lost in an endless sea of darkness. The air hung heavy with the stench of salt and fear, and an eerie fog enveloped us, shrouding the siren's call in an otherworldly glow. Days turned into nights, and the crew's once lively spirits waned as the haunting whispers of the ocean echoed through the ship. Shadows danced in the corners of the cabin, and ghostly figures flickered at the edges of our vision. An indescribable dread settled over us, as if the sea itself held us captive in its spectral embrace. My once stalwart resolve began to crumble. Sleep became elusive, haunted by vivid nightmares of drowned sailors clawing at the ship's hull, their eyes empty voids of despair. The boundary between reality and the supernatural blurred, and the siren's call became a vessel of the damned. As the days stretched into an endless abyss, strange occurrences plagued the ship. Phantom footsteps echoed in the corridors, and ghostly apparitions of long-lost sailors wandered the decks. I saw them in the dim light of the lanterns, faces etched with sorrow, eyes that begged for release from their watery prison. One night, as I patrolled the deserted deck, I heard a melancholic melody carried by the wind. The ghostly notes of a sea shanty resonated through the air, played by invisible hands on ghostly instruments. It was a mournful serenade, a requiem for the lost souls condemned to sail the seas for all eternity. The spectral crew seemed to harbor resentment, blaming the living for their watery demise. I tried to communicate with them, to plead for mercy, but their wails drowned my voice. They sought revenge, and I was their unwilling captain, steering the ship through the inky blackness of the haunted sea. As the siren's call sailed deeper into the heart of the paranormal tempest, a haunting melody emerged from the depths of the ocean. The seductive song of a mythical siren echoed through the ship, luring the crew with its enchanting cadence. It was a melody that promised salvation, a siren's call that beckoned us to embrace the watery abyss. The crew, driven to madness by the ceaseless torment, succumbed to the allure of the siren's song. One by one, they threw themselves overboard drawn to the ghostly chorus that promised release from their cursed existence. Their anguished cries mingled with the haunting melody, creating a symphony of despair. I stood alone on the deck, the last living soul aboard the siren's call. The spectral crew watched me with hollow eyes, their silent accusation piercing through my soul. The ship sailed on, an ethereal vessel guided by the ghostly hands of the forsaken. And so, the siren's call continues to sail a haunted sea, a ghost ship with a spectral crew forever condemned to the depths of despair. I, Captain Theodore Blackwell, am a prisoner of the abyss, the sole witness to the maritime tragedy that unfolded in the heart of the tempest. The haunting whispers persist, the spectral crew seeking solace in the oblivion of the afterlife. The siren's song resonates through the empty corridors, a melancholic reminder of the lost souls who once sailed under my command. As the eternal night stretches before me, I am left to ponder my fate, a captain forever lost in the sea, haunted by the echoes of the abyss.